G'day viewers, well, I'm gonna die, I've known as you've seen it before. Here's my brother's Alpine MRP FT40 model amplifier. It's an Alpine 350 watt, I think. 360 watt amp. Hit it under the seat of his ute. Remember, he had this bloody deluge, he just decided to go driving through the bloody water at his ute. The bloody thing started leaking, and water got up to here, under the seat, and just inundated this part of the amp. So, because he just wasn't thinking, just being an idiot at the time, water got in and luckily I only blew those two power MOSFET transistors. That's the only damage I can see done to the air electronically, other than the corrosion that the water's done here. But that's not hard to fix. But so I'm going to do, I'm going to just desolder those. I know they're blind because they've cracked and burnt and the have seen semiconductor smoke pour out of them. You can see the marks there, the black stuff on there. I'll show you how to test these damn things, for sure. They are IRF, both of them are IRF Z44N. I've got a thing on the internet, I've got them bookmarked, ready to order. I, there's a little dyed sign, R336G BB08. Now, I've got to look these up and find the compatible matches first before I go buy my new parts to make sure that um, the new ones I'm buying are going to be the exact same as these, like resistance wise and all that sort of stuff. What I did a test them, you get your multimeter here. <coughs> Here's me, float. He <coughs> said, don't die out like that. You have to put one lead in the middle leg and one other one on the outside leg the door and that should give you a reading one way it should be i think it's point of one volt or something like that and if you do it the other way it should be zero but if in this case there's a blowing so they probably will show you either both of them are going to show the same reading but yeah i do it when i desolder these because it's, you can't do it when they're in circuit you gotta take them out of the circuit and do it be able to do that. I'll show you how to do it. So I gotta take this bloody board out. Which means you gotta undo all these. Let's see if our chips here themselves. Lucky they're not popped. Undo that, that and that. And I've got a little bit of stuff to put this back together so so yeah let's get this thing apart. Okay of yours well this thing since performing pretty well. And it picks up the local ABC Triple J station which yeah, it's pretty well in line, but any other station, it's bloody hopeless at picking anything else up, so it doesn't pick up anything very good, that radio. But yeah, here's how it all is amp again. It's got interrupted today, so I had to delay this video, so yeah, heat sink just bolts off as one big lot. Just a big block. This is what I hate about modern surface mount components. A little surface mount, or SMR. Surface mount resistor, right there. I got a desolder. If that gets bumped and that comes off, it is really going to ruin my day because they, they are very hard to solder on. You need a precision microscope bloody tip soldering on to get that to go on properly. So I got that one in to take off, and this one in to take off. And it's right against that SMR. Nothing else has popped, so that's good. So hopefully, if I change those uh, MOSFETs, that should come good. Hopefully. Yeah, I'm going to desolder that and take it off and do a test. Okay, of yours, this is definitely some good stuff. This is Japanese brand stuff, Taiyo Electronic. Made in Japan and brand is Gutwick. It's good stuff. Do one desoldering. Don't buy Dick Smith's version of this. His stuff just sucks. This stuff is bloody good. J. Cole Online, cheap. I bought five. So it's good stuff. Suck got a solder off very neatly. Now, one well, other thing we want to note with surface mount resistors, if they, when they do come off, they get stuck in the tip of your soldering iron, and the intense heat will destroy them and push them into tolerance. So, be very careful when you're soldering near those little bloody things. Now, this one is definitely popped. The leg just snapped off that one. Here's one that probably is popped, but we'll find out in the multimeter. I'm going to write down the specs on this. We've come up with a list of possible replacements. If they still have these 
make these in that same version, I'll order them up in here. I don't know what these other two are like, so I might just get four and replace those as well. Amazingly, nothing got pushed. They didn't get pushed out of tolerance either, so those resistors are fine. Nothing else got damaged, so I just got to replace them too. I might just get just set a set of four replacements. Because so, yeah, I'll, I'll take them up and test them. If they test alright, I'll just get two. Even if that one here does test alright, also I might just get replacement. So I get my little tri my little redneck tripod set up. I'll do a test. Okay, if yours, I'll just turn their bloody tunes off. Not like bloody YouTube's off with their copyright this and pop like that. So I turn the tunes off. So no, everyone gets, I mean, no one gets upset. I've got the redneck up here. This bloody multimeter. The shielded connector fits right in there. It's equipped it. I'm going to repair this again. One of those little wire connectors. And then what I'm going to do, put the heat shrink over that eventually. So it's not going to stay like that, it's not going to stay exposed. Not safe. Then I'm going to set this thing here to... Try and get the camera to see both this and the transistor. Uh, a bit hard to do, but shitty angle. We'll, we'll bear, we'll manage. Zero, 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 zero. Now this leg, 0 0.006, let's swap the little legs around. This is basically a diode. Point zero zero seven volts. Point zero zero six. this might have been pushed to the limit, so I'm going to have to be replacing this and that's what I think. Point oh one. Point zero, swap it around. Yeah, I think it's supposed to give a reading one way but not the other. Alright. Just to be sure if it's in circuit or not. Yeah, must be a short. Pretty sure I'm not supposed to do that. I'm supposed to let power one way, but not the other. So that transistor's bad. Yeah, I think it's shorted. I'm getting 000, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0 0.006. Swap that around. 0, 0, 0, 0.006 as well. So that's supposed to be a. The data sheet would tell me which one's common and which one which, and how to test it again. In case I may have forgotten. But yeah, this is how you're testing. There's different methods of testing these, but all right. Now, just to show you what happens when you test them in circuit. Let's test one that's in circuit. So the readings would get might be odd because of everything else in the circuit. Point zero zero zero. It says point oh one, then goes back to zero. Point zero zero zero. Point zero zero zero. Try the next one. Oops. Point zero zero one and it stays, so that tells me that is good. That one here. Point zero zero one. Point zero zero. Let's go to this inner one. Swap the polarity over. Zero zero zero. Zero one. Zero one. I might just get four just in case these might have been bad too, so the water went up around here. See there's corrosion on this one here too, so that's got corrosion in the middle leg and that's got a little bit on it. So I might have to just replace the whole four to be safe. There's little tiny test seas ones. That seem okay so far. The picture when it tells you just Google the part number, the number that's on there you Google it, it tells you all about it. This one's going that way so it's negative, this one's going out that way, so it's yeah, 
goes in, positive, positive, goes in, negative in the middle one. So yeah, my after order for it is IRFZ, uh, IRFZ, IRFZ double four N. So, power MOSFETs, can I get four of them I think. So yeah, hopefully if that's all that's going wrong, I'll just get four just to be safe. I might replace them as well because they could be bad too. Or on their way out from the damage yeah, that's been done. Because it did pop the power fuse, so yeah, we better be better off replacing the whole four. So yeah, Google this for the part numbers and yeah, order them, order them. So yeah, thanks for watching.